The spread of the internet, blogging and sites like Twitter has meant just about anybody can report news and give their opinions and be heard by millions. But there are privileges that the mainstream media are allowed, which new and alternative media are denied, chief amongst which is admittance to the press gallery. Human FM is an independent student radio station in Wellington who have just been denied a press pass. We talked to Human FM president Alan Manson about the closed-door approach of the press gallery to alternative media. They're no different than us, except for they've been in the game a bit longer. So, you know, let us play. Let us see what we can do with that same information, with that same chance. And this is one of the places that new media is hoping to reach, the press gallery, which only has a limited number of seats for all the political reporters in New Zealand. Current accreditation rules require applicants to be bona fide journalists employed by outlets that regularly publish political views. The rationale behind these restrictions is to ensure accurate and responsible reporting on the proceedings of Parliament and the business of its members. But many new media outlets and outlets that lack accreditation complain about the frustration of being denied a news source such as the press gallery. We talked to media veteran and associate professor of Massey University, Jim Tully, who said it may be the press gallery journalists themselves who put up the greatest resistance to the inclusion of new media. The gallery has for many years been dominated by you know, a small group of men primarily, but not exclusively, who would now be sort of you know, 55, 60 plus, and so um, would have an inherently conservative view about journalism and who should or should not be in some institutions such as the press gallery. Press gallery chairwoman Claire Trevette defended the accreditation rules, saying it's more of a standard of journalism thing than the format that people work for that we are concerned with, and that it's done on a needs basis. People who do political news on a daily basis need the access. So whether you see it as inhibiting freedom of speech, or as a safeguard for the accuracy of parliamentary reporting, it looks like new media still have a long way to go before they are welcomed into the press gallery. Ko Jed Kanahoi, Otirio Poafa Fakata Massey.